Now, if you were to stick down here, on this, on the lower part of the hill, what tends to happen is, is that blood will travel down this direction. Hey everyone, welcome back to Talatox NICU. Uh, I'm gonna reintroduce myself. My name is Justin. I am part of the NICU team. Normally I'm on the other side of the camera. Um, and I know in the past we've had some technical issues. Uh, you watch blurry videos, they go in and out of focus. Well, guess what guys, that's me. But today I've been asked to, to do a uh, short clip about a necessary skill. Now this skill, as far as it applies to new orientees and new grads, this is not a skill they look forward to doing. A new grad, they get really amped up about doing an IV stick or even an arterial stick and they look forward to doing it. But this skill that we're gonna talk about today is a necessary skill that some new grads just don't know how to do. Um, so we're gonna talk about the heel stick. So we're gonna have five points about the heel stick for you to remember. So after we talk about these five things, I'm gonna give you a short demonstration about technique. Now just remember, this is my technique. This is not necessarily the all in all way to do a heel stick. So the first thing I want you to remember is to warm your heel, super important. So nurses can get really caught up in their workflow day and get really busy and have to draw labs and simply forget to do the first step in this and just to warm the heel. This will require you to think ahead um, maybe maybe five to ten minutes before you have to draw the labs um, and go in and warm the hill. Two basic things to remember about warming the hill. It promotes good blood flow and it really can alter your hill stick sugars. If you draw a, uh, a lab value on a baby that has cold hills, your sugar could be unnecessarily low or you can prolong the squeeze time um, on the labs and it could it could lead to again altered lab values. So number one remember to warm the hill. The second thing is to know your landmarks. The landmark aspect of a hill stick, you have to remember, it's much like a finger stick that you would do on an adult patient. You never wanna stick the middle of, of the finger, and it's the same way with the hill. You always wanna to go to the sides. So the, the best recommendation I can have, and I will show you the demonstration, we actually have a little bit of a cheat guide on this foam hill that we're going to use, is to draw a V. So you're, you draw a V on the, on the heel of the foot, and you're gonna to want to aim to poke the sides of the foot. You don't wanna go down the middle, but you wanna go out down the sides. Now, the important part about poking the sides is, is that you can actually control the drop of blood, and that's super important. Um, so that's gonna be point number three, is to control your drop. Now, as you squeeze the foot, you wanna to try to squeeze twice, um, is my technique. Squeeze the heel twice, let the heel refill, and the blood should, in theory, start to flow. Now, as it flows, it'll, it'll flow down, down the hill. Now, remember, it poke the hill in the right spot, so you don't wanna be necessarily too high or too low. The blood will flow, and it'll flow to the end of the hill, and you'll be able to collect that drop. And number four is let your hill refill. So this goes back to what I said before about we get in a hurry and we may, we may forget to put a heel warmer on and our technique may not be optimal. So what you wanna do is let your heel refill. Now remember, the, the longer it takes you to draw that lab, the more altered your lab values can be, uh, particularly like a CBC. If you're, if you're taking too long to, to collect your labs, that CBC could be clotted. What happens when the CBC is clotted? You have to redraw the labs. What does that mean? Your patient has to be stuck again. So you want to make sure as you're doing it, don't get in so much of a hurry that you're squeeze, 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 squeeze to get that blood drop because actually what you're doing is you're occluding those little capillaries that you're sticking and it's not going to flow. So step back. I always recommend you do two squeezes on the heel and then you let it refill. Now, as you do those two squeezes, your foot's going to blanch. As you see the foot blanching, let go of the pressure and you should see blood flow. And as blood flows, then you should be able to capture that drop. I always recommend doing about two squeezes, capturing the blood, and then wiping. So don't be afraid to wipe. Wipe with a, a gauze, a, a two by two, wipe it off, and then squeeze again and let go. I'll show you in the demonstration what, am I, what I mean about squeezing and letting go. And then the last thing to remember is to let gravity work. So when you're doing the hill stick, we tend to not let gravity work. If the leg is higher than the heart and you're squeezing, you're not gonna be able to get any blood. So you need to level out your foot and make it at least level with the heart, if not lower, and let the blood 
let the blood flow, let gravity work. So you're not going to be, your foot should be at level with the heart, if not lower. Okay guys, here's my foot. Uh, this actually is a pretty scale model of a foot uh, of a pre premature baby. And of course, obviously they come in smaller sizes, but all right. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to place your hand. So I normally will instruct, uh, will teach people to get a C. Okay. So here's your C. All right. The next thing you're going to do is, is you're going to want to take that C and you're going to go like this. Now you see here, here's your course, obviously your landmarks. Okay. We always want to go on the sides. Now it's best to probably stick up a little bit higher. So that way, as the blood drips down the hill, you can, you can capture that drip right there. Now, if you were to stick down here on this, on the lower part of the hill, what tends to happen is, is that blood will travel down this direction and you lose that drip. Remember, control the drip. So it's best to start up higher. All right. So the squeeze part comes when you take, here's your C and you come like this and you're going to bend that hill downward. Okay. Now you're actually squeezing on the calf side here. Okay. So when you go to squeeze, what you're actually doing is you're doing this. Okay. So I normally remember, I say about two squeezes, your blood should drip down this direction and you should be able to capture that drip here. So what I would, after you, after you stick the foot now, I'm, uh, hill sticks are all different. But I tend to recommend uh, I tend to recommend when you when you go to uh, activate the lancet that you're going to press in after you do it. So normal people will just poke it and let go. A good recommendation I have is to actually poke, leave your poke there, and then and then you'll see blood. Now after you poke, you'll see this. The so let's say you poke your foot, squeeze, squeeze, let go. Let you want to see your uh, your your heel refill, and then you you, you let the drip come down this direction and you'll capture that blood. Now I did mention about this, there being a scoop on the end of, of the lab vials that you have to use. Here's an illustration of one that has a scoop. Okay. Now the tendency is, is to do this number. All right. If you're in a hurry, so you're doing two things when you're in a hurry, you're squeezing, 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 squeezing. So you're actually, you're actually occluding here. Okay. Do two drips two or two drips, excuse me. <laughs> Do two squeezes, let the blood flow, and capture your drip down this direction, okay? Don't do this, you're scraping. Remember, uh, that could cause your potassium to be out of whack and be high. Um, it could cause your blood to actually clot, uh, clot quicker, all right? So here's a scoop. Here's another one that does not have a scoop on it. Remember, every facility is different. I'm just showing you two different labs. There is no scoop on there, no scoop here. All right, so these ones are a little bit more challenging, okay? So you have to kind of capture the drop here. So what tends to happen, and this, like I said, this is this little uh, foam figure is actually a good replica of the actual foot. It'll drip down this direction, and you want to scrape. You want to scrape, okay? And that's actually the wrong thing to do, all right? If you make take all those things into consideration, okay, well, this is what we tend to do. We tend to do this number, and your foot's all the way up here, above heart level. You're not getting any blood. So you squeeze harder, so you occlude, uh, and then you have, and then your lab values are altered. All right. So remember the five things, and of course they're not all in order. Number one, warm your heel, know your landmarks, let the heel refill. Don't get in so much of a hurry. All right. Two good squeezes, two good squeezes, capture the drop, wipe your heel, and then start start the same process again. Let the heel refill, let gravity work, and control your drop. Those are five things to remember when doing the hill stick. Remember, like and subscribe if you have any questions, comment below. Thank you.